could be better than kicking back on a Sunday afternoon watching the NBA. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Ali LaForce as well. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point and for the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Dort in at the three. Well, Grant, it's the time of year where teams are starting to find their identity and looking forward to the coming months. Yeah, you know, you're through the initial grind, and it's onward and upward from here. But teams are still figuring out who the contenders and pretenders might be. But nobody's hopes are completely tarnished just yet. Now, here's Williams. Tatum with a steal. Here's Brown. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. And when he was younger, Tatum would often try to do it all himself. But now he wants to keep everybody involved. The baseline J is on the way. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. And here's Brown for three. Offensive rebound. Oh, the long arms of Tatum. Man, do they come in handy on the glass. Tatum against Williams. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. Count it. One for one to start the game. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But, hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. A nice shot by Tatum. Off contact, but just a beautiful shot by Tatum. He's added so much strength through the years. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Graham. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Four on the clock. Second shot opportunity. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Offense clicking early here. Three for four to start this one. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Holiday, And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. They've really come out swinging. Hitting four of their first five shots. Pass to Holmgren. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And Porzingis showing some of those signs from early on in his career. He was a great shot blocker. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. And the first one at the line is good. Seven feet, maybe getting to 200 pounds. Chet is a unique player. He can hit the three, he can pass the ball, and he plays tremendous defense. Both free throws good from Holmgren. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A., Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. And Giddy has got the ball here for the Thunder. And this is their first time matched up with the Celtics this year. Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Shoots over White. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Here's Porzingis. Rejected by Holmgren. Wow, great D from Chet there. That is his calling card. Alley-oop up top, hammer it home. 
And, and that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And Boston calls time here. And you look at the Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. well. It's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they've stockpiled their picks in that front office. It's about making good use of them, B.A. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. So Oklahoma City ends up going with a new group. A big group substitution here for Boston. Cornette's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Horford comes in for Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Here's Pritchard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. The Thunder have gone four of eight and looking in control. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Williams. Can't hit from in close. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now here's White. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Horford can't hit. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Williams. Connects from downtown. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's White. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. With one on the clock. No good that time. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Thunder. Up three. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And for the Thunder guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Attacking relentlessly, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the strike. Yeah, they were going right at the opponent here and forcing their hand. I mean, like, literally making them foul them. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. On the court right now for the Celtics, the core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. Drew Holiday out there with Peyton Pritchard, and it's Horford in at the five spot.
shooting two. And that one falls for Tatum. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. And the Celtics making a change here. Porzingis has checked in. Good on both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, the Thunder are still developing, but Shea Gilgis Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Allie. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander are really something to see. Yeah, an incredible instinctual scorer and just a knack for making things happen offensively. Whether that means him scoring or setting up others, this guy is an elite offensive player. Boston trailing. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Holiday with the ball. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's Joe. He's covered by Holiday. And the big finish by Holmgren. Now Holmgren, that's pretty easy for a guy that long to get up and throw it down. Second quarter of basketball. Just over a minute and a half played so far. Here's Holiday. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. Man, good whistle there. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Oklahoma City. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. I love Shoot the passing two. that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. The first free throw is good. Man, you watch Drew Holiday, Brent. This guy is so tough, physically and mentally. And B.A., there's a lot of guys in the league that we say are underrated, but the secret is out on Drew Holiday, especially after the way he played in the NBA Finals. This guy is the best defensive perimeter player on the floor, unselfish, and what a great backcourt partner. Holiday hits them both. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line. Williams against Tatum to the inside. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Ooh, rugged finish from Tatum. And watch how Tatum navigates the contact. Just one of the many go-to moves for him in the paint. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Look here at some of the numbers for Al Horford.
And Giddy has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Their next game playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. Back to Williams. To the paint. Tatum just so strong inside. With how well Tatum moves, sometimes you forget he's 6'8", but he's got great size, putting it to use down low. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. The offensive rebound. Pass to Holmgren. And they converted last on attempt number three. Holmgren's gotten four this quarter. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. White, he's checked in for Boston. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Here's Giddy. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by White. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. It's good. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. The Thunder have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. On the take. Outside for Dort. Pass to Williams. Dort outside. Six on the shot clock. Let's it fly. The Thunder with another miss. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Giddy against White. Oh, you better get out of Derek White's way. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. The Thunder have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Pass to Williams. And stolen by Porzingis. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. White for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. And now a four-point Celtic lead. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team-first player. Love that from the guard position. Down low. Hook loose. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to Hauser. There's 14 seconds left in the first half. Clock at six. Poor Zing has taken the contact. Poor Zing is showing some toughness that time, just cutting through contact. Here's Wallace. Over Holiday. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back after this word. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He had 12 points, four rebounds, and one steal. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all cylinders. You love the patience, the flow. Very efficient. Valuing possessions is few as success. This is not a team you want to bet against. At least not tonight. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All their energy has been spent on the offensive end. Well, that's a shame. They're just going to keep giving up easy buckets, and the game's going to get away from them. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. The Celtics with the lead. In it forward, it's Jordan Williams. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the lineup for Oklahoma City. Brown's gone one for four from the field. Here's Williams. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And what you like about Jalen Williams' college stat line is how complete it is. He's doing a little bit of everything out there now. And a wide skill set is a great thing to have. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Williams drops them both. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for Boston. They lead by four. Following this game, they host the Magic. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Oklahoma City on D. Two seconds left. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Celtics lead by six. And what a tough shot. This proves Brown has a lot of confidence in his scoring ability. And Gil just Alexander missing. For Boston, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Well, Brent Kristaps Porzingis, he's a big man who can do a whole lot. And knocks down the three ball, can defend inside, and causes some problems with his length. Makes smart passes because he knows the league and he knows the tendencies. This guy is very skilled and is getting better. Now they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Tatum with another miss. Team starts the second half missing four or five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Over the course of the last month, here are the NBA's best free throw shooting teams. Second, the Thunder. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from the charity stripe. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Shoot two. That free throw good from Holmgren. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Holiday. Both free throws good from Holmgren. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Here's Tatum. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Pass to Dort. To the inside. Oh, 
The shot won't fall. Brown with some nice D. Boston's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's White. Rejected by Holmgren. Here's Dort. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Dort's got his second bucket of the game. And Dort has a nose for the bucket. Here's Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Lou Dort picks one up. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. on the first. What makes Brown special is his blend of smarts and effort level. Not just an intelligent player, he also gives you a phenomenal amount of energy out there. A line change here for Oklahoma City. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for White. Good on the second one. Second half of play and we're three minutes into the third here. Here's Wallace, and it's good for two. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Pass to Brown. Inside, Tornet. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Minute 32 left in the third quarter. The floater. Can't hit that one. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a one-point game. Oh, Jalen Brown! A strong finish! Terrific initiative from the swingman. Brown is smart at understanding when to look to score inside. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Williams comes in for Williams. Pritchard, the pass to Brown. Unloads. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. The Thunder have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Joe misses. Boston has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Hauser passes to Brown. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Shot clock at six. It's stolen. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Wallace. Defended by Brown. Wallace misses. Brown scanning the floor. Can't connect from short range. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Celtics out in front. They lead by three. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford. And it's Holiday in at the point. That one goes. Count it. Excellent shot from SGA. I like seeing them shake loose in the mid-range. Holiday passes to Tatum. 
over Williams. Tatum shot is good. And the Celtics lead by three. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Dort. And that one's good. Holmgren. Yeah, I like when Chet Holmgren gets involved in these types of sets. He can be pretty crafty at executing them. And for the Celtics, they're shooting around 50% in the game so far. Shot is up. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Horford. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Mark Dagnall was just reviewing the plan with his team. And Coach challenged the team, asking them to bring the fight inside, telling them to play with pride, telling the team, you're getting bullied near the hoop. Let's see if it works, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. They're wanting to do whatever is good for the team on any given possession. That time, Dort playing unselfishly. Three-pointer Holiday knocks down the long J. And the Celtics lead by four. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Outside, Williams. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. A shot that Williams continues to work on. You love seeing these type of results. Outside, Tatum. Outside, Brown. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his third foul so far. And it's Dort with the ball for Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander finds Holmgren. Dort with it. To take the lead. Nice D from Brown. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. The Thunder have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. And it's Holmgren missing. The Celtics have gone three or four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Pass to Brown. Austin again missing. Oklahoma City trailing to the paint. Here's Dort. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Lugans, Dort, give it to him. And Boston calls time here.
Let's take a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Chad Holmgren. The hoop looked about four feet wide for him tonight. I mean, his shooting was so dialed in. It really allowed for him to score the ball just over and over throughout the game. Now here's Holiday. Outside Porzingis. Pass to Brown. Let's it go from deep. Bullseye! Jalen Brown! Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Dort against Brown. The shot by Dort, no good. Boston has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Porzingis passes to Tatum. Tatum knocks it down! He's locked in right now. When this team needs a bucket, it naturally looks for Jason Tatum, and he typically comes through. Killed just Alexander, no good. The Celtics have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Tatum. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, coach has to love that it's Tatum at the line. He's such a clutch performer. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Boston? These guys have incredible stamina based on how they've been running the floor, using speedy transition play to get fast break points. Something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff, and you've got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points and they need a map. Looking unlikely right here. That time ticking away. White can't hit. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. Ah, say it with me now. S, G, A. Get it done. Here's Holiday. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And Williams has got the ball here for the Thunder. White with the steal. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And they go to the intentional foul. He drops the first one. And that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a six-point ball game. Timeout called. The Thunder. They're down by six. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. One shot. Thing you love about Gilgis Alexander is his general feel of playing like a veteran, even though he's still in the early part of his career. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Yeah, the calm demeanor of Holiday, it really helps him stay cool under pressure. And so both free throws good, and it's a five-point game. Coming up clutch there Starting. at the line, making it a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're trailing by five. There's 18 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. Here's Giddy. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. From deep, Giddy. Money! And he's brought them within two points now. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Holiday is just so versatile. That's where he's valuable in crunch time. Defensively guarding the best player. Offensively he can run the show. And he'll take a big shot. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a three-point lead. And there's only one option. They need a triple. Now nah, this is all from the perimeter and outside the arc here. And they need to stop the clock. So there's the foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although... That's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. So the first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. He snuffs out any comeback hopes with an impressive performance at the line. And so it's Boston with the W. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. 
Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. There's a lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, and play with a lot of poise, and uh, we'll be fine. Poise normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.